Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share my adventures around the world with you. Today I'm going to show you a bit of my trip to London, the capital of England and the United Kingdom. London is an incredible city full of history, culture, art and fun. Let's check it out. I arrived in London through Heathrow Airport, which is the largest and busiest in Europe. From there, I took the subway, which the British call the Tube, to get to my hotel. London's subway is very old and extensive, but also very efficient and practical. You can buy a card called Oyster, which gives you unlimited access to the city's public transportation for a fixed price. My hotel was located in central London, near Trafalgar Square, one of the most famous squares in the city. There you can see the statue of Admiral Nelson, who won the Battle of Trafalgar against France and Spain, and also the Bronze Lions, which are a symbol of strength and courage. The square is also surrounded by various museums and galleries, such as the National Gallery, which has artworks by renowned artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Van Gogh, Monet, among others. After dropping off my bags at the hotel, I set out to explore the city on foot. London is a very cosmopolitan and diverse city where you can find people from all over the world and from all cultures. You can also hear various accents and different languages besides British English, which is a bit different from American English. For example, they say lift instead of elevator, flat instead of apartment, biscuit instead of cookie, and so on. One of the things I enjoyed most in London was visiting its parks and gardens. London has many green areas where you can relax, have a picnic, see squirrels, flowers, trees, and lakes. Some of the most famous parks are Hyde Park, Regent's Park, St. James's Park, and Kensington Gardens. I also went to Kew Gardens, which is a botanical garden that has over 50,000 species of plants, some very rare and exotic. Another thing I loved doing in London was exploring its markets and fairs, where you can buy everything from food, clothes, antiques, books, crafts, etc. Some of the most famous markets are Camden Market, Portobello Road Market, Borough Market, and Covent Garden Market. I had a lot of fun seeing the different and interesting things they sell, and also trying the typical and international foods they offer. Of course, I couldn't miss visiting some of London's most famous monuments and attractions, such as Big Ben, which is the clock tower of the British Parliament, the London Eye, which is a Ferris wheel that gives you a panoramic view of the city, Buckingham Palace, which is the official residence of Queen Elizabeth II, Tower Bridge, which is a drawbridge crossing the River Thames, and Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, where you can see wax statues of celebrities, politicians, artists, etc. I also took the opportunity to watch some shows and performances in London, which is a very cultural and artistic city. London has many theatres, cinemas, musicals, concerts, festivals, etc. I watched a musical called The Lion King, which is based on the Disney movie, and has an incredible production with costumes, sets, music, and fantastic actors. I also watched a stand-up comedy show, which is a very popular form of humour in England, where comedians make jokes about various subjects such as politics, society, everyday life, etc. Well folks, that was a summary of my trip to London, a city that I loved visiting and that I recommend to everyone who enjoys travelling. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to know more details about my trip, leave a comment and I'll respond. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel to follow my next adventures. Kisses and see you next time.